Greetings, folks. Joseph Kursky here with you to talk about using the data interoperability extension to import SDTS, Spatial Data Transfer Standard, DLG. That's a mouthful. Spatial Data Transfer Standard, DLG, Digital Line Graph Files, into ArcGIS Pro from ESRI. One of the challenges to working effectively in GIS, Geographic Information Systems, has been the difficulty of importing certain spatial data formats into a GIS. To meet this challenge, ESRI's Data Interoperability Extension has been a long-standing and very useful set of tools that enables a wide variety of spatial data formats to be imported for use in a GIS. It is an integrated spatial ETL, Extract, Transform, and Load, toolset that runs within the geoprocessing framework using Safe Software's FME technology. It enables you to integrate data from multiple sources and formats, use that data with geoprocessing tools, and even publish it with ArcGIS Server. I recently tested the data interoperability extension in ArcGIS Pro and was thrilled with the results. Read about how to install and authorize the extension via this link here. The extension does many things, but one that is particularly useful is that the extension creates a toolbox directly in ArcGIS Pro, shown here. I used this toolbox's Quick Import tool to import an SDTS format USGS digital line graph file directly into a file geodatabase. The tool, like other ArcGIS Pro geoprocessing tools, walked me right through the process. I used data interoperability, then went to Quick Import, pointed to my DLG files, named the resulting GDB, file geodatabase, and once imported, I was then able to work with the hydrography, hypsography, contour lines, roads, boundaries, and other data contained in that DLG set of files. Now, digital line graph files have existed since the early 1990s. Why are we still working with them? The reasons include that, number one, they are dated, but still useful vector data sets. Two, many geospatial data portals still host data only in this format, such as the USGS Earth Explorer portal. See this set of graphics for my step-by-step -step instructions with these screenshots. First, use toolboxes, data interoperability tools, quick import. Two, using quick import pulls up a specified data source dialog box as shown here. Three, in the specified data source dialog box, use find other source and then specify SDTS format. Four, selecting the SDTS format. Five, pointing to the SDTS file after it has been unzipped and untarred and saving it into a geodatabase. Six, once the file has been imported into a geodatabase, it can be added to a new map in ArcGIS Pro. The data is now ready for use as shown here for this hydrography example. Thanks and let me know what you think of this tool.